Claudia Cardinale, a true symbol of the film industry, continues to captivate audiences with qualities that stand the test of time. Her lasting appeal stems from a versatile and authentic career. One may wonder what makes her a timeless figure in the industry. Whether it's her magnetic presence, excellent acting skills, or the ability to effortlessly adapt to various roles, Cardinale's influence is undeniable. Thinking about her body of work, one might ask if there's a particular moment from one of her films that has left a lasting impression. Perhaps it's a scene that personally resonates or a performance that sticks in memory. These moments contribute to her as an actress whose work transcends generations. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic actor. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we reveal many interesting, surprising, and emotional facts about this figure. Keep watching for more insights into the life and career of Claudia Cardinale. And remember, there are many more surprises to come. Claudia Cardinale's journey through cinema is truly fascinating, showcasing her talent and versatility. For those unfamiliar with her work, exploring her most notable projects provides a glimpse into the magic she brings to the screen. One of the must-watch classics is Once Upon a Time in the West, where her magnetic presence complements the epic Western tale. Her portrayal of Jill McBain is a testament to her ability to embody strong, multidimensional characters. In Italian cinema, eight directed by Federico Fellini stands out. Her role as Claudia, a character integral to the surreal narrative, showcases her ability to navigate intricate storytelling. For a touch of romance, The Leopard is a cinematic gem. Her performance as Angelica seduces both the protagonist and the audience, leaving a lasting impression on the historical drama. Moving into the 70s, The Red Tent explores the harrowing journey of a doomed Arctic expedition, with Cardinale contributing to the film's emotional depth. As we delve into her filmography, Fitzcarraldo, directed by Werner Herzog, is a unique experience. Her role in this visually stunning tale of ambition and madness is a prime example of her collaboration with visionary directors. For those seeking a more recent gem, Eight Women, directed by Peter Greenaway, offers a modern exploration of her talent, providing a fresh perspective on her captivating screen presence. Whether it's the sweeping landscapes of the Wild West, the surreal dreamscape of Fellini's imagination, or the emotional depths of historical drama, Claudia Cardinale's filmography is a rich collection of cinematic experiences that every film enthusiast should explore. Claudia Cardinale's participation as a jury member at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival in 1993 marked a significant moment in her connection with the film industry. This role not only showcases her as an actress, but also highlights her contribution to the broader cinematic world. Being part of the jury adds another layer to Cardinale's career, demonstrating her involvement in the creative process beyond acting. In her journey in the film industry, Cardinale's collaborations with well-known actors and directors have left a lasting impact. Notably, her role as Maria in The Professionals and subsequent appearance alongside Woody Strode in Once Upon a Time in the West showcases her ability to handle diverse roles. Even when not sharing a scene, the presence of Cardinale and Strode in the same film speaks to the talent drawn to these projects. Claudia Cardinale's personal life intersects with her professional career. Since 1974, she has shared her life with director Pasquale Squittery. This enduring partnership adds a personal dimension to her public image, revealing the actress beyond the spotlight. Such personal details contribute to our understanding of Cardinale as a person, not just a cinematic figure. As we continue to explore Cardinale's filmography, it's clear that her career goes beyond mere performances. Each project provides a glimpse of her versatility and dedication to the craft. Her collaborations, both on and off screen, show her lasting presence in the world of cinema. Claudia Cardinale's journey in the film industry is closely linked to her late husband Franco Cristaldi, who played a significant role in guiding her. Their collaboration went beyond personal life, influencing her career choices and contributing to her success. In Once Upon a Time in the West, Cardinale's portrayal of Jill McBain reflects her strength and dedication to diverse characters. The film's co-writer, Bernardo Bertolucci, shared that Sergio Leone initially hesitated to have a central female character. Leone's early idea, unknown to Cardinale, included a revealing shot under a train platform, but thankfully, this concept was dropped, highlighting Cardinale's commitment to her craft. 
Interestingly, two years prior, Cardmail and Woody Strode appeared together in The Professionals, but they didn't share the screen interaction in Once Upon a Time in the West. This change underscores her ability to adapt to different roles and dynamics within the industry. Beyond her on-screen achievements, Claudia Cardinal served as a jury member at the Cannes Film Festival in 1993, showcasing her broader involvement in the cinematic world. This additional layer to her career emphasizes her role beyond acting, contributing to the creative process in the industry. Her collaborations with actors and directors, such as her roles alongside Woody Strode, reveal her capability to handle various characters. Cardinal's personal life with director Pasquale Squittery adds a human touch to her public image, providing insight into the person behind the actress. As we explore Cardinal's filmography, it becomes clear that her career goes beyond just performances. Each project offers a unique perspective on her versatility and dedication to the craft. Cardinal's lasting presence in the film world reflects her talent, adaptability, and contribution to the world of film. In 1957, producer Franco Cristaldi introduced Claudia Cardinale to the film industry, marking the beginning of her journey. Shortly after, she gained recognition as the most beautiful Italian girl in Tunis. Raised in a bilingual environment by her Italian father and French mother, she spoke French during her formative years. In The Pink Panther, she played the princess, a role that has stood the test of time. As of February 2022, she and Robert Wagner are the last surviving main cast members, emphasizing the lasting influence of this classic movie. Her personal and professional life intertwined when she became the life partner of director Pasquale Squittery in 1974. This enduring relationship adds a personal touch to her public image, providing a glimpse into the woman behind the actress. Cardinal's film career is a diverse collection of cinematic experiences spanning genres and decades. From the vast landscapes of the Wild West in Once Upon a Time in the West to the dreamlike world of Fellini's Eight, she demonstrates versatility in handling various storytelling styles. Beyond her on-screen accomplishments, Cardinal served as a jury member at the Cannes Film Festival in 1993, showcasing her broader involvement in the cinematic world. This involvement extends beyond acting, highlighting her contribution to the creative process in the industry. Her collaborations with actors and directors, as seen in her roles alongside Woody Strode, showcase her ability to portray diverse characters and navigate different dynamics within the industry. This adaptability is further highlighted by the change in screen dynamics between her and Strode in Once Upon a Time in the West compared to their previous work in The Professionals. Claudia Cardinale's career is not just about performances. Each project offers a unique perspective on her dedication to the craft. Her enduring presence in the film world reflects her talent, adaptability, and significant contribution to the world of film.